What's up everyone? So there's about one thing that I would change about this game. Everything else is great. Uh, I would even argue things like Fatal Blow, Wake Up, if you play around them, or if you play certain characters, it becomes a little bit easier to deal with those things. But there's one thing universally that is kind of an issue for a lot of characters in the game. And it is simply jump jump-ins. Now, I don't know why, like, so with wake up, with things like wake up attacks and things like fatal blows, you don't really have to worry about the fatal blow until their health is really low, and you can really focus on getting their health to about 40% and then just killing them with one touch. And with wake up attacks, you can just b back up. Like if you back up, you just reset neutral, you never have to deal with wake up bullshit, right? You just play around it, you, you never, you, you concede that you never have to deal with it, you're, you're never gonna get Oki, and you're gonna always play neutral. But the problem with wake up attack, or with jump ins, is that there's pretty much no counter to jump ins. Now, there's clearly anti airs that work better than others. Like, for instance, Noob, his up shadow will basically cover every jump in in the game. Because it's, it's pretty much a DP, it's like the DP of the game. You know, like these move, this move, uh, Johnny Cage has his up shadow. Uh, and then, um, yeah, so Noob has his, his, this move, the, uh, the up shadow. Johnny Cage has his up, whatever, his rising star, that's what it's called. And then there's a few other characters, like Katana, will ha she has her up fans, even though it's too slow to do on reaction. So there are some characters that deal with jump-ins, but the problem is not all characters can deal with jump-ins. For example, I can just use Molina as an example. The only way I can deal with Cheng Sheng's jump kick is either by flawless blocking it or down twoing. And that's the the down two will cover both options, but it's at the peak of his jump. So you got people out here doing jump ins and frauding players out with jump ins and not playing neutral, which is kind of my issue is like around this range, people are just doing jump kicks because they know that no one can anti air them. Why has this been a thing for so long? I don't understand why this hasn't been addressed. This is kind of a problem. And it, it sucks because everything else you can pretty much play around. Uh, I'm a fan of now kind of playing the wake up system, backing off to see what your opponent's gonna do and then attacking accordingly because some people, they'll, they'll realize that you're actually trying to get them to whiff their wake up attacks and they'll stop doing them. But Jump-ins are just a universal issue. You really can't avoid, unless you kind of switch characters, there's really no counter to jump-ins. You basically have to concede that they're going to be able to do a jump-in on you, which is just absurd. So if there was one thing I could fix in this game, I would say it's jump-ins. Definitely fix the fact that I can literally see that you're going to jump and I can't anti-air you. Like, I have to do it on the peak. Like, see? Even there, I missed it, right? So I would say fix that and th the game isn't, it's not golden, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of other issues that I would argue need to be changed, but you can work around them. Like breakaway, you can work around. Oki system, you could work around. You just back off. Fatal blow, you could get them to 40% and then kill them. So there's ways around it, but jump ins, there's, there's pretty much no way. Like you have to get off your character. So if they could change that, that would be awesome. That's the most, the most, my most requested thing right now over everything else that I would have them change. Like make the jump ins, I don't know if you want to make them always minus seven no matter what. I would think that would be a good de deter because then when someone jumps in, you get a free down one or a free, a free uh, mid string. I, I think that would prevent people from just constantly doing jump-ins because they'll realize that as soon as they do a jump-in, their turn's over. I wouldn't make them punishable, just make it to where it deters people from doing them all the time. And then people will do normal jump-ins and you can easily anti those. Like, it's very easy to anti a regular jump-ins. It's just the jump kicks. Like, this game has anti airs it just doesn't have anti air solutions to jump kicks. So. I would say if NRS doesn't want to completely change how the jump kicks work, make them extremely minus on block. Make them like minus seven. 
make them so minus that people will not want to do them. And I think that would be a good solution. But that's my biggest complaint, honestly. I think everything else, if you really think about it, you can play around it. Wake up attacks, don't get me wrong, like they're frustrating, but they're not the end of the world. Like you you can always back off and see what your opponent's gonna do and kind of play around the wake ups or just not be there, right? Like I've always advocated using a projectile or something to get people to do wake up attacks and get punished. So then they'll stop doing them. So those are options, but just kind of back to the jump jump ins, please, please. I, I would I would say that's the one thing that they need to change in this game and I think this game would be way, way more enjoyable because right now it just seems like the neutral is not played because of jump kicks. Anyway, I'm out. I'll see you guys later.